Hey guys, it's Mr. Blaze with another cool art lesson for today. Today's artist for inspiration is a Victor Nunes. Victor Nunes was an artist that took everyday items such as paper clips, such as tire wrenches, keys, whatever small items you have lying around the house. I challenge you to first go on a scavenger hunt. Find a bunch of small things that you can use to create from. Now the next part will be taking those items, putting them on a sheet of paper, and now look, what do you see when you look at those items? Are they a part of the item? Can you add to them? What scene can you create with them? Maybe it looks like two bicycle wheels. Maybe it looks like some clouds. Maybe it looks like two people drinking from a straw with this cool Allen wrench. I challenge you to create something amazing from just an ordinary object. It'll take some thinking on your part, but I know you guys can do an awesome job. Watch my video to get some great ideas on how you can do something awesome. Create something from virtually nothing. Good luck. Hello guys, here are a few things that I found from my treasure hunt or scavenger hunt around my house. I had some keys lying around, a wire nut of some sort, a little wrench to take uh, tires off of a bicycle, a little hex key, allen key, turkey baster, acorn outside, acorn caps, these are super useful. So hopefully you guys found a few fun things to use as uh, springboards to kind of start your drawings. I'm going to use this hook. It's a uh, like a cup hook into several different things. So I'm going to start off up here, and I'm going to make it like a worm that is coming off of the hook. And a fish is going to get the one. You can move the hook out of the way if you need to. Now I'm gonna get the fish coming. Big fish, I guess. My son recommended I add teeth, so I'm going to add teeth. Could be a shark, could be a made-up fish. You could look at a picture of a fish if that helps. Kind of coming up out of the water here. Fins on the side, fins down here. Okay, it's a shark. Doesn't really matter too much. As long as you know what it is, this, this fish looks pretty hungry to me. So finish it off by adding a little bit of water. Kind of splashing around it, and that's done. Now, the next one I'm going to draw would be a flamingo. Now, for the flamingo, I'm going to turn the hook up a different way. Let's leave this hook here so you remember how I did that. 
the flamingo, I'm going to add a new hook in here. Leave enough room. You can put all of your drawings on one page. And also, just a friendly reminder, if you want to use the same uh, object to start all of your drawings, you can. Or you can choose a different object for each drawing. I would recommend three to five drawings total. Here I'm going to make a flamingo. So here we have the head. You get the neck drawn. I remember flamingos are kind of tall birds. And they have very skinny legs. Feathers coming off the end. And the wings here. I have one leg. Like that. The foot and then the other leg. So you could get three to five objects drawn from your springboard object, which is a hook for me. I love to see what you create, share it with me, and uh, most importantly, make sure you have a good time. Take care, have a great day.